Ladies and gentlemen, if you told me three weeks ago that WWE Survivor Series with Jinder Mahal and Brock Lesnar, uh, Alexa Bliss versus Natalya, um, who else? And and, and 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 the teams and 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 not and not Alexa Bliss and 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 the teams three weeks ago with Jason Jordan of all people in the teams. That Survivor is going to be a good show. I would have laughed in your face. But WWE has made me care about the Survivor Series. And I'm about to give you my preview and predictions on the Survivor Series. What it is, guys? It is your boy, Cole Train, back on the video. And today is going to be my official WWE Survivor Series 2017 preview and prediction. This is basically... The last W survive the, the the last big pay per view of WWE in 2017. Once Survivor Series is over, you can call you can say 2017 is over for WWE because it's not necessarily over, but you know maybe good pay per views are over because we, in, we when we get in December WWE tends to not do well in December. Man, they usually be laid back and just and, and just and just give you non informed stuff as we enter the Royal Rumble. But we'll see how this year goes. If they book a Survivor Series like this, and they want to make this a success. Can you imagine what's going to happen with December and Roadblock and whatever the other people, whatever people they have in December? I going to have to wait and see, man. Yeah, man, let's go over the rest of this card. Um, Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I have not been posting that much. I just finished cleaning up the entire house right now. And um, I am doing some other things right now. So, um, but um, we, we will be posting a lot, late, lot um, this weekend, and and uh, heading into Thanksgiving week, um, especially tomorrow. We have a lot of videos to do tomorrow. Now, I may save my behind the scenes work for the United st stuff tomorrow for for tomorrow, but I might do tonight just to get over with so we can get the other videos tomorrow. Wait a minute, let's get in the into the match card for the, the for the uh, Survivor Series. Up first, we have Enzo Amor vs. Galista for the Cruiserweight Championship. Who's going to watch this match? Let me know you're watching this match. I'm not. You know what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be playing WWE 2K18. I'm going to be streaming. Uh, what was it going to be? SmackDown Live by that time? Episode 6. Episode 7 of Universe Mode? I'm not I'm not going to watch this match. You going to watch this match? No. Enzo Amor is going to retain. It makes sense for him to retain. Why would you get to talk about the Kalisto? That makes absolutely no sense. Amore will retain. You know, that's that's the easiest match to predict here besides the Survivor Series women's match. The easiest match to predict here is that. I have to wait and see, man. Knowing WWE, they might get back to Kalisto. We don't know. I hope not. It makes no sense. We'll see. Then we have the Bar versus the Usos. Um... You, I don't know who to pick here. I'm going with the Usos. The Usos should beat the Bar. I even though the Bar just won the tag team titles and the Usos have that credibility, I think you need to keep the Usos high. Usos, I think the Usos will win. Charlotte versus Alexa Bliss. Um, I'm gonna go with Charlotte. I'm I, I'm going with Charlotte. Charlotte just won the title. It makes no sense for for the for them to beat to beat Charlotte, but you know. WWE might do it, but I'm going. I'm going with Charlotte. I think Charlotte will beat Alexa Bliss. Now these matches are unpredictable here because you 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 don't know who WWE's going to go with. I'm going with Charlotte. That's what makes Survivor Series intriguing. I like me gotta think about who they're going to go with. It, it should be like this every single pay per view. Shouldn't be predictable. But I digress. Then we have Shield versus New Day. I'm going with the shield. This and now this this match with the boy as well, you know a little, a little a little. But WWE loves New Day, and they have shown how they how they treat the shield already. But um, you know whatever. But you know I'm going with the shield. It make no sense for them to lose their Survivor Series reunion. Um, you you, you would say because they debuted at Survivor Series. Why would you make them lose? That makes no that makes absolutely no sense. I'm going with the shield. I think I think the shield the album that was first with the night. So you have so you have the bar, so you have Uso, Charlotte Flair, and Shield winning so far. Then we got Miz and Corbin. I'm going with Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin should beat the Miz. I don't it make absolutely no sense for for uh 
for for the Miz to beat Baron Corbin, but um, you know, I I'm going Baron Corbin, but I think I I but I think if the Shield win and Charlotte and the Usos win, the Miz is beating Baron Corbin because they because they need that through the two, you know what I'm saying? Because because you know that because you know it's two because the two SmackDown Live wins and three Man in the Raw wins. You'll see what I'm talking about here, but if but but if but if Alexa Bliss beats Charlotte, Baron Corbin's beating the Miz. So you guys, you guys get what I'm saying? Because you know WWE wants that three to two thing like they did last year. You know I I liked it, but we're all winning. But uh, we'll see how it goes. And then we have the survivors, the, just the men Survivor Series match. Team Money Night Raw is winning. I'm going with Team Money Night Raw. Um, I don't know how the elimination is going to be, but I, I, I think the last man standing will be Braun Strowman. I think Braun Strowman will be the last man standing. Can you imagine the matchups we'll see here? Orton versus Strowman. Orton versus Joe. Balor versus Nakamura. Rude versus Angle. Rude versus Triple H. Ooh. Shane McMahon versus Joe. I want to see that. McMahon versus Angle? McMahon versus Strowman? Ooh. McMahon versus Triple H? Come on, man. Come on, man. Nakamura versus Balor? Nakamura versus Angle? Holy crap. I'm just dreaming of seeing that. Then we got Cena versus Angle again? For the first time in each other in, since 2003? Cena versus Strowman? Now? Ooh. Cena versus Joe? Cena versus Balor? Come on, man. Come on, man. You, you gotta love it, bro. This is gonna be the best match of the night. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That investor Vashers match really, really intrigued me, man. Look at the names I just named with you right now. Then we got Rude versus Balor? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Look at the names I just named you, man. Come on. Come on, y'all. Y'all talking about Survivor is gonna be. Y'all talking about that match not gonna be good. That match is great. But but what if Jason Jordan was in there? Jason Jordan versus Shane McMahon. No, Jason Jordan versus Orton. Jordan versus Nakamura. Rude versus Jordan. Cena versus Jordan. Not you know the rest. The resume doesn't live up, man. It doesn't live up. I lo- I love to take Jason Jordan this match. Now it makes it even more intriguing. But I think Team Raw will win. Braun Strowman will be the last one standing, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about that. Then we got the women's match. Team Raw will win that because Oscar's on this match. You, 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 you're not having no. You're not having Team Smackdown like beat Oscar. Come on, come on. I will go with JD proposed that Team Smackdown Live eliminates Alicia Fox, Nia Jax, Sasha Banks, and Bits, uh, Sasha Banks, Sasha Banks, Sasha Banks. There we go. Can't even say her name. And and Bailey, and then Oscar be the last one standing, there, and she and, and she takes out Becky, Becky, Carmella, Tamina, and Naomi, whoever the who, whoever's the fifth woman. I believe I believe it's gonna be Natalia because it made no sense to be no one else, unless Nikki Buss returning to Survivor Series, and I have I have I have heard no news of a return to Survivor Series. That that may be something that out of the blue, because I have no no news about somebody returning to turn to, to the Survivor Series to, uh, this Sunday. No news at all. We'll have to see what um we'll, we'll have to see what WWE does with does with that man with with that fifth woman with woman. I presume it's gonna be Natalia because they I believe they didn't they say Natalia will take it, it, it didn't say if Charlotte it, it, it didn't say if Charlotte won the women's championship Natalia will take her place. We'll see what we'll see what happens though. And finally, we have the main event of the evening: Brock Lesnar versus AJ Styles. And Jesus, my phone's blowing up. Okay, I gotta answer that. I have to get off here. Um, um, I am going with Brock Lesnar. A lot, a lot of people on Twitter were going with AJ Styles. Now, if let me, I'm gonna see. Let me tell you guys a, a, a theoretically theory here. If you want to go with AJ Styles, that means that the bar has to be through Souls. Alexa Bliss will be Charlotte. Shield will beat New Day. Miz will beat Corbin. SmackDown Live will will win win the Survivor Series match, and uh, Raw will win the um the the, the six man match, and then AJ Styles will beat Brock Lesnar. 
And if all that lines up, that means AJ Styles is going to beat Brock Lesnar. But I think Brock Lesnar will beat AJ Styles, in my opinion. Um, you know, WWE put a, it was a woman that WWE was going to make this. They, they wanted some star power in this match, and they said that AJ, that Lesnar is going to beat Styles, and Styles is going to move on to Jinder Mahal in December to either he to more than likely lose to WWE champion to Jinder Mahal again if he gets into the Royal Rumble. I say like I said in my Spider Line review. I don't care. I don't, I don't care how long he's out of the title. As long as he, as long as he faces Brock Lesnar in the Bible Series. You know, a random smack on SmackDown Live Series review. If Jinder Mahal wouldn't talk to that, nobody's going to care. Well, no one's going to care. Okay. We're back to uh, 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 we're back to the failure. Cool. Whatever. You know, he's going to hold us at WrestleMania. Then Johnson's going to beat him in New Orleans. And I'm, and I'm going to be a happy guy. Fine with me, bro. Fine with me. But long as I get AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar, this will be the second best match of the night. And I and I have Brock Lesnar hitting the F five and taking AJ Styles to Suplex City and defeating him to give Team Wild the victory for Survivor Series. Thank you guys so much for my Survivor Series paper predictions. You guys didn't enjoy hit that like button, subscribe, and share. No goon voice tonight, <laughs> you know, because there there wasn't no it there wasn't nothing nothing, nothing idiot to go over except in in the more. Let me know if you guys are watching the pre-show. Let me know what you guys are watching the show in the comments down below. Who do you think is going to win? Is who you think is going to win the Survivor Series? These are my opinions. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at ColdChain2017. Snapchat, ColdChain2017. Uh, Instagram, ColdChain2018. And subscribe to the channel down below. Hitting that sub button and hit the bell next to my name to receive all my WWE and anything else videos you like on my channel. I'm Coach Train and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Next is NXT TakeOver War Games Preview Predictions. We'll go over that and I'll give you guys my thoughts on that show in in the next video. And then if we have time I'll go live with Jodeci. If Jodeci behind the scenes but if not That'll be the first thing. That'll be the first video I do tomorrow morning. See you guys in the next video. Peace.